we did plot arcs. Mm -hmm. We thought about, um, we definitely thought about season arcs. And for me, the, the, um, you know, the Mr. Big Care relationship was, especially, you know, beginning from season one, was how I kind of plotted out the season. And I think there was a lot of, you know, there was certainly some storytelling experience I brought from like, you know, the one hours and the serialized storytelling. So that was something else that I was, that I felt like was able to sort of kind of guide me through the season was that we'd have this Carrie and Mr. Big relationship, you know, and, and you know, doing a, a comedy, I felt like I wanted some of the episodes to be close-ended, but there was this sort of through line that the characters are going through, would be going through relationship journeys and emotional journeys. And I think the first one, and we weren't really thinking about, or I wasn't thinking about it for the other characters the first season because it was really just 12 episodes, but thinking about Carrie and Mr. Big. And that was sort of like, um, you know, the through line for, for the first season. And I think it also just sort of began to inform the Sex and the City storytelling. That, first of all, it would be a show that was following a question and a theme that Carrie was exploring that would reflexively also uh, illuminate something in her life and would become about her and that um, and that the characters themselves would be having would you, you know would be having like um, uh, relationships and stories that you would become invested in mm -hmm. did you always want Carrie to end up with mr. Bing you know I have to say I I wasn't ever thinking of an ending for sex in the city you know, and I think for me the show is really about um, the fact that women don't need to be defined by men or by marriage. I mean, I think that is like the the um, something that's a little bit mod that's the modern takeaway from Sex and City, or you know, like something that that is it's. It, it's how it breaks the romantic comedy mold of Hollywood, is that ultimately the, the, the strongest relationships these women have is, are, are with themselves. Not that they can't have men or be with men or have relationships with men, but they're not gonna be defined by men or by marriage. 